Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do a quick teaser video for you today just with a couple of items I've picked up over the uh, sort of the Christmas period um, and it's also a topic that I've mentioned before that I'm going to be sort of doing a little bit of video content about this year. Um, so as I've said before, um, I used to practice HEMA, um, not particularly well and I, I, I hasten to add that but it was something I used to quite enjoy and it's something I'm sort of just starting to get back into um, just by myself. I'm not going to be joining up to a club or anything, at least not yet. Um, I've not been able to find one close enough to me that sort of works with my sort of work schedule and everything else. Um, but I have just picked up a couple of new swords. Um, now they are sharp bladed swords um, and I'm going to be using them primarily for sort of cutting practice and that kind of thing. Um, and I thought I'd just give you a really quick uh, show of what they are. Um, so you've got this one here, which is the um, Hanway Tinker Pierce 9th century Viking sword. Um, really nice little sword, this. Um, I will throw some stats up onto the screen, um, just so you've got a few details about it. Uh, but it's a really, really nice sword. Um, I'll bring it a little bit closer, just so you can get a bit of a better look at it. Really nice hilt assembly on it. Unfortunately, as with a lot of modern reproduction swords, the uh, the handle is a little bit on the long side. Um, now that actually works quite well for me, um, but you know, historically wise, it's not actually um, you know, you know, completely accurate. But it is a really really nice sword. It's uh, relatively light. Um, you know, it's it's a one-handed sword designed to be used generally with a shield. Um, and you know, it's, it's a really nice little blade. Um, now the problem I found with this, um, this one in particular, is it is um, marketed as sharp, um, and I'm not sure if you can pick this up on the camera, uh, but if you look at the sort of the edge of the sword up here, I'll, I'll move it around a bit so hopefully it will catch the light. Um, I can see where it's been sharpened, though to be honest, it's not particularly sharp. Um, certainly on this edge here, um, there is a good amount of material still down here. I'm not sure how well that picks up on the camera. Um, so basically I can run my finger up and down this part and you know it, it is essentially blunt on the sort of the, the lower third essentially. It does start to get sharper at the tip but it's not as sharp as I would like, not as sharp as I would have expected. Um, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to that. Um, but again, you know, fairly standard um, scabbard for it, you know, it's um, wood uh, covered with leather, a couple of uh, sort of what I think are mild steel fittings, but again, for what it is, um, you know, this is sort of the budget end of the market, um, it's not a bad little sword, it's, it's reasonably well balanced, um, I had a little bit of a sort of a swing around with it yesterday, um, and actually, you know, it feels pretty good in the hand to use, so really it just needs a little bit of sharpening. Um, secondly, same manufacturer, it's the Hanwai Tinker Pierce um, Early medley, Medieval Single-Handed Sword. Um, now this was the kind of sword I was using when I was practicing HEMA. Um, there was a combination of this um, and also uh, what a lot of people refer to as a long sword or a hand and a half sword or a bastard sword. Um, and I already have one of these. I have the cold steel version which I will bring out at some point in another video. Um, so again, fairly nice um, scabbard, you know, wood um, covered in leather some nice mild steel fittings on there. Um, and the sword itself, very, very nice. Um, see if I can get that all in shot. Um, so this is, I believe, an oak shot type 12 blade. Um, I can double check that. I should have done that before I started the video, really. Um, but you know, it's a nice sword. It's particularly light. Um, I've got some metal sort of training and sparring versions of this style of sword that are a little bit heavier, uh, which, which they always will be with the, the, the sparring versions. Um, but it's nice. It's a nice, light, sort of quick sword. Um, I'll give you a bit of a close up on the screen. So, again, And if I just move back slightly, so you've got um, you know, a rounded pommel, um, a slightly flared cross guard on this. Again, handle, um, certainly for my hands, um, is actually a pretty good length. Um, and overall, it's a really nice little sword. Um, what I should have mentioned earlier, so this has actually got a hex nut assembly, so what I can do is take this apart, disassemble the, the entire hilt assembly if I want to, and maybe modify it a little bit. Um, Whereas, if I just grab the other one, so the Viking sword is actually peened, which is a lot more um, 
sort of authentic traditional call it what you like um, that's basically where the tang which goes all the way through here um, has basically been hammered over to hold everything together um, now I do like peen swords um, I do prefer them to sort of the, the nut assemblies and um, that's just personal preference they it does make it more difficult to modify um, but it is just ever so slightly more authentic and I, I prefer it. Um, so anyway guys, that was it. It was just a really quick video just to show you a couple of new toys that I've picked up. Um, over the sort of coming months, I will be doing the odd video here and there. Um, sort of as I slowly, I, I've just literally started retraining, um, sort of doing solo drills and cutting drills and things like that. Um, so as soon as I've kind of worked up a little bit sort of more forearm strength and I, I'm, I'm actually sort of getting my technique back, um, I'll be doing a few videos on these swords and a couple of others that I've got as well. Um, and I hope um, that you, you know, it's something you guys would like to see. Um, so anyway, guys, um, comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.